Hey guys, how are you today? So I just wanted to bring you a really quick video because I've worked in my watercolor reference book, which is what this is going to be. I don't know what else to call it. Um, it's it's a watercolor reference book to use uh, the idea from PETA Thompson's um, mixed media or art supply reference book that we did for journaling Crazy Island style. Uh, not last year, the year before. <laughs> um, I don't know what else to call it, so that's what we're going to call it right now. Uh, anyway, so I, I made some changes to this, and I'm, I just want to give you a real f uh, quick flip through so you guys, if you want to follow along, can get a few things ready to use in your book with whatever supplies you have. Um, and we were, we're going to go over this uh, on the next Watercolor Wednesday Live. We're going to keep working in this book, and we're going to add another... Um, art supply or watercolor paint to it and we're going to just keep adding to it until I work through a whole bunch of them and I've got some manufacturers sending me some things to um, try in here so yay thumbs up to the manufacturers we'll share them and we'll give them some love when they come in so anyway what I did was I added a few more sections we have the comparisons where we have our charts where we're going to actually put right next to each other different kinds of paint in similar colorways so that we can actually compare them visually one to the other all on the same page or all on you know consecutive pages. We have our sample page where we are going to do the same little sample drawing with all the different kinds of paint. I'm going to tell you right now I'm probably going to get really tired of doing little houses but uh, oh well that's fine. But we're going to with the same uh, six colors of paint we're going to do our sample paintings um, with the different brands. Each one will be a different brand of paint. Then I decided after watching Sandy Alnock's YouTube videos, she's got out right now on Daniel Smith Paints. If you haven't seen them, I'm going to give you a link. Go over and show her channel some love and watch her videos. They're absolutely fabulous. She did a wonderful job. I loved them so much. I did some color wheels. So I did some color wheels for the two brands we have in here, Schmink and Daniel Smith. I only used the three primary colors, yellow, red, and blue, and then did some color mixing to make up the other colors. And I'm going to show you how I did that in the next Watercolor Wednesday. Then we did one of the Sandy Alnock slash Daniel Smith style color blending charts, one for each color of paint. We'll keep doing that for each one of the colors of paint. And then the last, and I called this, what did I call? I called this one color wheel. And I just called this one blending. And this last one is techniques. When we first started Water Watercolor Wednesday, we started out by just doing blending and techniques. And then we stopped and we started doing paintings. And that doesn't mean we're never going to do paintings again, but we're going to keep doing the techniques. I like this and I like putting them in here. Now, I'd already done a few different watercolor techniques on little Zentangle cards. And I didn't want to really redo them. I could cut some more paper and redo them, but I already have the cards, and this binder happened to come with these pocket sheets. So I cut the little cards down just a little bit so they would fit in the pockets. I've got all of my different techniques with my notes still on the back, and I've got a page and a half to grow, and I can get more pages for this binder at the craft store, so I'm not worried about that. So that's a great way to do without adding tons of pages to your binder is to get some little you know pocket sheet protectors and just cut some cards to um, to size to fit and then do a technique on each one and we'll go over some of these in case you guys missed it or we haven't done it before like this is saran wrap and watercolor this is watercolor over modeling paste scratching into watercolor things like that so um, and I've got all of that and these are some templates I made I'm going to show you more about it on Wednesday coming up next week so get your stuff together, get ready, let's have some fun comparing paint products. Um, the next one, we're either going to add Prima to here or May Mary Blue. I haven't decided yet, um, but one of them, I did just get a new metal palette for um, an empty one. I put all my Prima paints in here. You know, I hated the three small ones. They drove me crazy. Uh, but now they're all in here together. I'm going to make a color key. And this is the classics, this is the tropicals, and this is the decadent pies. So and I'm, so I'm going to mark that in there. And I have a whole row empty, and I could add more paint in here, or I could just put a brush in here if I want to take these with me or something like that. I've got a sponge in here that works fine. So anyway, I love it. 
All right, that's it right now for today. Don't forget to support me by hitting the little support button on my YouTube channel's main page or shopping in my Etsy shop or one of my other stores. Visit GinaBArons.com for the links for all of that and reference materials for and links and all that stuff for Watercolor Wednesday. There's a special page for that on my website, so go look. All right, that's it for right now. I'll talk to you later. Have a great day. Do something nice for yourself. You deserve it. Bye.